Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you all for finding time to join us today. We are pleased to be hosting this webinar this morning. My name is Helen Makandi. I am the manager, business club and women in business segment at APSA Bank. It is our hope that you're keeping well. Here at APSA Bank, we are keen to link your businesses with like-minded partners to grow your business to the next level. Today, we host the third and the final webinar series on digital marketing in partnership with Wild International and Facebook, whereby we've been, be, we've been bringing you content that relates to the changing digital marketing dynamics. We are joined by John Jabara, APSA SME Cluster Manager, Cynthia Ireri from Wild International, and Alex Mwangi from Boost with Facebook. I now welcome John to give us the opening remarks. Over to you, John. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Helen. Good morning, and thank you for finding time to join us this morning. Uh, my name is John Jambara. I'm an SME cluster manager at APSA. We are together with a team of relationship managers. We support business customers to grow their enterprises. We are delighted to be hosting this important forum sponsored by Facebook in partnership with the World International as part of our continuous engagement with you, our customers. We look forward to equipping you with information and insights necessary to keep your business going despite the challenges in the business environment. At APSA, our purpose is to bring possibilities to life for our customers and stakeholders. In this regard, we are committed to continue connecting people's goals and aspirations to both financial and financial resources they need to realize these goals. In the last two weeks, we have hosted similar sessions on digital marketing through Facebook and Instagram. Today, we delve further to digital marketing through WhatsApp as we conclude this webinar series. Before we start the session, I would like to briefly highlight some of the solutions that we at APSA are offering our customers to boost their businesses. Through our Wazesha Biashara program, businesses can access up to 10 million in unsecured loans and overdrafts. We also offer unsecured LPO financing of up to 12 million. We have unsecured invoice discounting of up to 50 million. Unsecured bid boards of up to Kenya Savings 6 million. And for bid board, it's a very easy process to apply. You can be able to access a, your bid board in two hours. We also have asset based financing as well as custom insurance solutions for your business. When it comes to investments, we do have investment accounts where you earn interest on your unutilized funds through our various investment options, including our call and term deposit accounts. Recently, we launched the APSA She Business Account, which is a tailor-made uh, account for the needs of the woman entrepreneur. Whether you are starting out in business or running a big corporation, we have taken time to listen to the challenges that women face in running a business. And we came up with a holistic proposition that does not just take care of their funding requirements, but also offers women entrepreneurs access to mentorship and coaching, access to information and training, as well as access to trade opportunities within the local and international markets. We have partnered with PostBank to offer agency banking uh, services providing an opportunity to leverage on their wide network of 642 outlets across the country and uh, with 97 post bank main branches and 545 post bank machinani outlets. This partnership allows our customers to enjoy longer banking hours as the agent outlets have more flexible operating hours with some agents opening as early as 6 a.m. and closing as late as, as 9.30 p.m depending on the curfew hour set by the government. The services which are offered at the agents are card-based deposits, 
cardless deposits of that party and bill payments, card-based withdrawals, mini statements, and balance inquiries. As you can tell, we are already doing things very differently. And I trust that you will feel the impact as we continue collaborating with you to bring possibilities to life. We reaffirm our commitment to continue doing business with you as we have always done, and be sure that we are ready to listen to you regarding your diverse needs. I hope that uh, you'll find this session beneficial to you and your business, and I really look forward to a great engage engagement. Thank you. Allow me now to welcome Cynthia Ireri of World International to take it from here. Thank you. Thank you, John. My name is Cynthia. I work with Wild International and at Wild International, I'm in charge of relationship management. I want to say a big thank you to our partners, uh, Facebook and also Absa Bank. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to collaborate with you and to offer this training to your customers. And also at Wild International, it's a management consultancy firm, and we are known for developing strategies for entrepreneurs. So I'm sure if you're here and you're thinking of how you want to develop a strategy for your business, you can reach out to us and our support team will post our contacts, our details, and you're welcome to our offices and we can discuss over a cup of tea how we can help you develop a strategy for your business. And today I'd like to welcome our trainer today, Alex Moy. Uh, and the topic for today is WhatsApp, how to grow your business uh, using WhatsApp. I'm sure most of us have been using WhatsApp for chatting, uh, you can chat with your friends and your family members, but today you want to learn how do you get more customers using WhatsApp. Over to you, Alex. Alex. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for that good introduction. My name is Alex Moy. Thank you for the Absa team for having us, and thank you for all being here at this moment in this morning. Uh, my name is Alex Moy. I'll be your trainer of the day, and I look forward to having you look forward to training you and look forward to being with you. If you've joined us for any of the other previous sessions, welcome once again, we're eager to have you, we're eager to give you more impactful knowledge and to make sure that you can learn something that you can take to your business and help it grow. Uh, without further ado, we'd love to, <clears throat> to welcome you with a small icebreaker that's very related to what we are learning here today. So my icebreaker of the day, it's, it, you won't see the relation until we start the training, but it's a very interesting one. I am posting it on the chat. It's just a very simple question. How fast can you type out the responses to these questions? Number one, your full name. Number two, name of your business. Number three, where is it located? That's the exact location of the building, the store, including the office number, stall number, or whatever kind of information that you direct customers with to your location. And what does your business do or deal with? We have a great opportunity today. We'll be giving two of the fastest and most accurate responses a chance to present their business for one minute at the end of the session. So that way you'll be able to speak and tell us, oh, this is what I do, this is my business. And it's a great networking opportunity. It's a great place where you can tell people and you know, you never know where your biggest customer will come from. You don't know where your next customer will come from. So we're happy to have you. I'd love to see those responses on the chat. And I'll also type just to show you how fast I can do it. My full name is Alex Moy. My name, my, the name of my business is Archer Digital. Where are we located? We are in CMS Africa House, Chani Avenue, Kilimani, and our office is on the ground floor sandbox. Uh, if I finish before everybody else, I'll give myself that gift. Uh, what does your business deal with? Uh, we do digital marketing, training, as you can see, and consultancy. And I think that's my answer. That's as simple as it is. So just, a, just as a question to icebreak to see how fast can people engage? How fast can you respond to your customers? Assume it is you've gotten a chance to chat with, with your biggest supplier or somebody who wants to buy thousands of your products and they ask you very impressively, um, oh, very impressively, they ask you to give the right details about your business. They tell you, where, where, where should I come? What do you do? Uh, where are you located? You know, how fast can you type that? And we've seen also from the Boost in Facebook team, they've said that two businesses will also receive a notebook each. So I'll extend that. I'll say two of the winners who will write us nicely will get to present. Uh, number one will get to present. Number two will also get to present. 
And I think the next two can get the notebooks. I don't know, or, or the first two. We can then determine depending on your responses. So that's our icebreaker of the day. Let's keep chatting. You see, if you see on the web, on the Zoom link, you can be able to see chat, Q&A, uh, raise hand. You know, those are some of the functions that are there. Please write on the chat. Let's get to see which businesses are there. It's always very impactful as well to just know who's on the call so that we can be able to have the most relevant examples. This is um just a very simple way to engage with you so i've written mine i'll be waiting for some more participants but as we do that i hope you you're comfortable and you're ready to get into the training remember on our webinar q a is ask your questions at any time if we're going through the deck write them on the q a so that we can be able to give back responses to you uh during the q a session the chat is for engagement the way we've just said drop your questions as far uh, drop your feedback as fast as possible or uh, we can say you know write to us what time of day you know it could be very random there are some other things like raise hands um, that you can use maybe for prompt uh, reactions that i might prompt you for example when i start screen sharing i ask you if you can see use the raise hand and yeah that's the lay of the land that's how we're going to conduct it it will be in a webinar format meaning that you as a participant can listen in i'll be presenting a presentation your interactions are those that i've explained before but at the end of the session those two uh, participants will be able to be unmuted so that they can be able to speak for now you might not be able to um, to unmute and listen to us uh, or talk to us directly but we will give you that opportunity and i'm seeing the first response has come in from ashenafi who is from addis ababa ethiopia um his business is called hidden leather products but i get this chance on behalf of africa 118 inc that's super thank you so much for joining ashenafi definitely want to hear from you all the way from ethiopia and see um to hear about your business so without further ado i think i could start presenting as more participants get the chance to write. If you've joined in a bit later and missed, there's a chat on the chat, there's our icebreaker of the day, which is just trying to measure how fast can you respond to these questions. Uh, your full name, name of business, where it's located, uh, what does your business deal with? And yeah, just write to us back so we can see which kind of businesses are here. Um, and yes, we can begin our training on the WhatsApp platform. So I will share my screen. And good. So today, as we mentioned, we will be training on the use of WhatsApp to grow your business. So what we'll be covering is learning how to use WhatsApp as a platform to engage with customers directly. So many of the participants, maybe you've not known you had WhatsApp your whole life, your whole business, but you've never seen it as a platform where you can convert and do it as a business platform. But that's why we are hosting the training today. Let's see how we can be able to highlight that for you. Uh, as I mentioned, my name is Alex Moy. I'll be your Boosted Facebook trainer. I'm happy to have you once again if you've joined us before. If this is your first time, Karibu San, and we invite you to engage with us. Tell us what's going on. Tell us, ask us your questions. And remember, um, if this is great, you're taking notes, you're thinking about how it's going, you're, you know, you're doing a few different things, you can be able to catch this recording as well on um, the, the, um, on the YouTube page of ABSA. They will be posting the training after so that you can also share it with friends who might have missed the session. I know you'll find it insightful and you know that might be helpful to another business. Please recommend it, share it with them. But we can begin and see who is here with us. Um, so our agenda is learning what is WhatsApp, getting started with the WhatsApp business app, amplifying your efforts with ads, and crafting your messaging strategy. Good. So just to jump in, we'll start with what is WhatsApp. I know many of us have already engaged with it, interacted with it um but it's good to also learn from the basics whatsapp is a simple secure reliable messaging platform that can be accessed from a mobile device and computer sometimes people don't know that you know as a business owner you might be front and center on your laptop and it's much faster to give responses on your laptop than it is on your on your mobile device so when you choose to use whatsapp you can use it either on desktop or mobile and there's a great platform also called WhatsApp Web that you can use in your browser 
that's temporary. You don't have to move your WhatsApp into the desktop if you want. You can just be able to view it temporarily on your browser as you work. All this needs is just, if you have an internet connection on your phone and you have an internet connection on your laptop, that's able to do it. Um, then you're able to chat. It's a great, great platform where you can chat with people. It offers free voice calling. Uh, it even has free video calling that the, you're not charged anything other than the data that it might use. All those calls are usually free all across the world. You can call your relatives in Uganda, in Ethiopia, as we've seen somebody from Addis can call somebody in Nairobi, and it's completely free other than the data charges that you might be facing, uh, that you might be um, charged from your provider. Um, then you're able to post up status, meaning that you can post something that also shows to all your friends but disappears within 24 hours. WhatsApp is about chatting, calling, and sharing, and that 1.5 billion WhatsApp accounts are active every month. There's 2 billion minutes of calls every day, and there's 450 million daily WhatsApp status users. In statistics, that's quite a huge number of people globally. Um, I, I think in the next time I'll try and understand the statistics around WhatsApp. I know the statistics around Facebook and Instagram in Kenya. I think Facebook has about 6 million users and Instagram is closely following now with about 3 million. So it means that these platforms actually have mass. They have a lot of people. If you want to use it to reach 100,000 people, you can. So WhatsApp as well, um, I guess, as you grow, as you grow as a business, you can be able to reach 10,000 connections. You can have 10,000 contacts and via things like the status, you can be able to reach a lot of people via that channel. So I'll be trying to guide you and to give you the aspect where you can understand as a business, how can you use WhatsApp uh, for your business? Um, so I'm seeing some of the other people have also chatted in the Q and A. So I just want to check and see some other users. So as I remember, we said the most practical examples are best uh, examples by businesses that are here. So uh, beside Ashenafi, there's other people who added Paul, wrote, uh, my name is Paul Bishoki from Senaka, East Africa. We're located at Karen Office Park, Block B, Wing E, third floor, Langata Road. Isn't that very detailed? I know we can easily now go all the way to Senaka, to Paul's office and ask, Paul has directed me here. Um, uh, we provide security solutions in technology, K9, specialized guarding and risk management. He's even written his contacts, Paul at Paul Bishoki at Stenaka World. That's super good. Thanks, Paul, for giving us that very accurate feedback. Um, Shedi, Shedi Zaki from Shemagat, private detectives. We deal in cataracts, CCTV installation, general security systems, private investigations, escorts. And then he's also provided his number. What I'll remove Shedi's uh, marks for is there's some typos on his on his chat he's written installation but there's a typo there and investigation also has a typo because i understand we'll see even from why we're talking about whatsapp as a business platform why it's good because some of these things to write them promptly might be difficult to provide this input quickly is difficult but thank you all for keep on keep on writing as as well the most practical examples come from those so i'm also just noting you down so that we can be able to use an example of a security company I've seen a leather company and I've seen private detectives or security private detectives. So we'll use those three as our examples for now. I'm also seeing something on the Q&A just to make sure that I've not missed anything good. All right, so I've covered all the three businesses that have written to us. We'll try and use those examples as we go along. So back to our WhatsApp slides is that WhatsApp is a simple uh, platform and the product principle reflects the way users depend on WhatsApp. This just means it's simple, reliable, secure, um, a platform that anybody, if you've joined WhatsApp even today, we just told you download it, nobody would struggle to know how to use it. At least even to chat, they would at least know that even if they've not discovered how to use a call yet, they will soon because the tabs, as you can see, are very easy to, to learn. Status will also be there. You know, it's very simple to use. It's reliable in that the platform, as long as you have some data, even 2G data, it will be able to send messages that you've sent to somebody, uh, even on the smallest feature phone. That's why you see even some of the new Kabambes um, come with WhatsApp because it's simple, it's reliable, and then also it's secure. Uh, there's two security experts here, so <laughs> I'm sure they're happy to hear that chats written to each other are secured by encryption. You know, nobody in between can be able to read 
if Alex was writing, was writing to Marianne, nobody in the middle can be like, read, read the messages we're writing to each other. The only way I think that could be infiltrated if, for example, your phone is stolen or somebody accesses your WhatsApp that you already know. But the in between the platform is very secure. Even WhatsApp itself cannot be able to access the data that you send to each other. And why it's important is that WhatsApp has been creating digital living rooms where people have control over their personal and private conversations. And we are seeing, and the digital living room here, and just to uncomplex, to make that uncomplex is that, for example, if we decided all the businesses that have joined a group, have joined today, we form a WhatsApp group. We're able to form like a, like a place where we are all together. It feels like we're together physically or together in communication, but one person, as you've seen is in Ethiopia, another one is in Karen, uh, another one is here in Kilimani, another one is in Mombasa. But we've been brought together via this chat platform that it's so simple to engage with somebody, so simple to WhatsApp them back, to have instant communication, to send them photos, etc. So why is WhatsApp so powerful for business? So let's look at that. Is that one of the biggest things is messaging has become an indispensable part of modern day communication and that you're seeing more people are, are, uh, are prompted to write you a message. They're prompted to chat you, to chat you even as a business, to write you a message. So it's even said by Mark, Mark Zuckberg himself that today people increasingly want the intimacy of connecting privately. We already see that messages, small groups, and stories are by far the fastest growing areas of online communication. We all need to communicate privately and this service could be even more important in our lives. So it's a very interesting thing to learn that as people want to connect and ask questions privately and send messages and have small groups around similar interests, that what kind, where can your business fit into this? Where can you get your customers in this realm? For example, a security company can benefit very much to be able to access a WhatsApp group of an estate because in that WhatsApp group, they're able to talk to the individual homeowners in that area about um, their security solution or to tell all the owners together they could get their company as the security company to guard their whole estate. You see, so that is an example of how those small groups, those direct communication platforms have become really important for businesses of the day. And an example of Ankara for Shakara here is, which is an online fashion store based in Nigeria, which attributes 80% of monthly revenue attributed to Facebook apps and about 10 new hires due to success with Facebook apps and services. Wow, so this is a really good case study. And you know why we, we love to celebrate wins of African businesses that are doing, or business at all, um, that are doing great all over the world, here locally, uh, in Kenya, in Africa, and so on. And I can imagine Ankara for Shakara as a business, as a business in fashion that probably makes, makes tailor-made fashion. Um, I can see how they're using WhatsApp. Um, I could take this to, the, to our friend in uh, Addis. I know if somebody is coming to get something in uh, leather made, they want a lot of communication. They want to speak to you. They want to tell you, I want it in this size. I want it in this color. Don't you have this material? No, 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 I want the straps like this. Just like as well, I'm wearing one of those um, neat, like um, what are they, jackets that you can get tailor-made by somebody from a nice material. So in, in thinking about it, even as you advertise, you know your customer in, an, in a business that needs communication will always come back and say, look, I like that material. Can I get that in size XL, in size, or show me all the materials available. So we are taking this example of Ankara for Shakara, um, and she's probably a tailor, uh, an online fashion store, but they ask, customers want to ask, communicate. So we are seeing maybe WhatsApp was a great platform for them. Same with our, um, our business in Addis in leather. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us that people do ask a lot of questions. They want to talk to you. They want you to walk them through how their product, you make it, it is and they and they pick it up from there. So we are thinking about it that way. Um, and we can see small businesses already messaging with customers with 80% of small businesses surveyed in India and Brazil say WhatsApp helps them both communicate with customers and grow their business, which is, which is phenomenal. Some very, again, expectations for businesses. You and me, um, as a business owner, things change. Now people want communication faster. 
61% of people would choose messaging a business over picking up the phone. So who are you to then decide that you lose 61% of customers because you had to tell them, call us now, call us today. What if they want to message and just ask quietly and not call and not reach to a customer, cost customer care line that will not be picked up. So the expectations have changed. 61% of them are saying that. 59% would choose messaging a business over sending an email. Customer engagement is critical. Again, based on global consumer surveys, this is uh, sourced from the SAP hybrid uh, consumer insight report, which was done in 2017. Remember, we have moved four years and COVID has also happened. So think of this consumer surveys as the world is at its most critical stage in serving the customer. The customer is really now our biggest force because they can now access your business online or another business. They can now call, they can now message, they want to WhatsApp. You have to meet their needs where they are. So in 2017, 89% of respondents expected a brand to respond to them within 24 hours. I can imagine if that was 2017, what about 2021? I send you a message, how long will I wait? 12 hours, six hours, three hours? But 24 hours, at least we can tell 89% said that they would want that response within 24 hours. 80% of consumers say the experience a business provides is as crucial as its goods and services. So I've seen so many business owners here or business people, they, you're offering security, but if your cust as, as it's saying 80%, uh, if your customer experience is not good, then they say, ah, there's no need to get this security company. There's no need to get this private detectives. These guys, they'll never respond to my query. They're, they're not giving me good customer experience. So while your goods or services might be exceptional, it's also crucial that you think about how you engage your customer just as much. And 52% of respondents have switched brands or service providers because of poor customer service. 52% to many businesses, you might assume sounds a little, but if you take 52% and you have two clients every day, you're losing one out of two clients every day because of poor customer service. Well, if you have the 100, maybe you're saying I lost 52 of them, which is still not enough. I know if, for example, if we took even Absa's case and we asked them, you have 100 or even 100,000 she customers, and they decide that 52% of them are lost because of one reason or the other, that's 52,000 businesses. I know nobody wants that statistic association <laughs> associated with their business. So we really have to look at how critical customer engagement is to our businesses these days. So after all those scary facts, we're not scaring you to do to to not to leave you scared without a solution. <laughs> Want to scare you and tell you we can get business results with the WhatsApp business app. First of all, I'd love to see how many actually know using the raise hand. If you actually knew that WhatsApp and WhatsApp business are two separate apps, there's a regular WhatsApp app just called WhatsApp. I think most of us would know that one. But if you know that there's a WhatsApp business app. It's separate, Kabisa. A new app is called WhatsApp Business. You have to download it, Kando. Raise your hand. Ah, great. I am seeing five. Five people knew it. Five people, eight at most. I can it can't go more than 10. Can it? But if you knew that WhatsApp business is a great is a platform, you can raise your hand. I'm seeing we are at nine now. Good. But now to the other participants, don't feel bad. If you didn't know, it's okay. We are here to tell you that WhatsApp business is a separate app. It's, it's, it's very similar to what's the other WhatsApp. It's just made for business people like you and me. Is that because using that WhatsApp business app, you can be able to do many, many more functionalities that your regular WhatsApp couldn't allow you to do. So let's talk about how do we get started with it? What are the ups and downs? What are the benefits? What I'll tell you, there's no downs. There's WhatsApp business is the way. If you're a business owner and you want to commit into starting your business on the right path. There's no other way, WhatsApp business is the way. Um, so getting started with the app, let's look at why, what's the features, what does it have, what does it have to offer? Before we jump into that, I'm seeing another person in the chat has written, oh, Marianne has written, I did not know there is a WhatsApp business app. Welcome Marianne, welcome to the training. You're gonna learn so much. <laughs> yes, so getting started with the WhatsApp business app is that why even have the two is that there's there's always like, for example, even the bank, I guess there's regular banking and there's business banking. 
So ask yourself, why did you choose a business banking account and not your regular bank? You know, it's because one in here, WhatsApp wants us to enable any person to discover, communicate, and tra transact with any business. It wants to allow you to have a presence, just like the way you have a physical location, or even if you don't, even if you have a website or something, it wants you to be able to represent yourself on the platform the way you would on any anywhere else in a nice professional way. So we'll see that. We'll see how that looks like. It wants people to be able to discover you using, if you're connected on WhatsApp business, people can even do ads that convert directly to your WhatsApp and people can chat you, which is amazing. All the way from Facebook, from Instagram, you know, for example, if I was putting up this amazing jacket and I was selling 10 of them and I tell somebody, um, we have a huge variety of amazing jackets. What's up us today for your, for your, for to, to discuss your needs or to see which one is the best and let's tailor make one for you. There's ads that you can be able to click direct that advertisement. It brings you to WhatsApp and it tells you this person is interested in this jacket. Isn't that amazing? As a business owner, it helps you grow your database. It helps you grow your potential reach and bring them into a platform they're comfortable to speak of privately and in close comfort. You know, everybody's on WhatsApp these days. It's fast, simple, etc. It allows you to communicate, as we've seen, either on voice call, video call, text message, or message generally, whichever you want to do. Yeah. Um, and then in some countries, it's been able to help people even transact, like the way you'd send somebody in PESA. Uh, there's countries like Brazil, India, where there's WhatsApp pay, where I can conduct business with you. I can buy a phone and I can send you 20K via WhatsApp. That would be so amazing. And we're hoping those features can extend all the way even to Kenya one day. As we've seen, other features have been coming and spreading out across the globe, like uh, Instagram shops, Facebook shops, as we saw last week. Uh, so we're hoping that even WhatsApp, as you think about it and why, think about having the platform and being ready for what it can bring. And people are already conversing and transacting with business on WhatsApp, meaning that customer initiates queries. They ask you, how much is this it? Oh, I've seen some advertisement on Facebook. I like what you're selling, blah, 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 blah. They pre-purchase. They have that inquisitiveness. They want to ask you questions. They move and you even decide, yeah, we'll make this. Actually, I actually even myself bought this jacket on, on WhatsApp from somebody. I was just given the number. Shasha, I've never met him. I've never talked to him on the phone call. Uh, he sent me some few materials. I said, cool, this looks great. Please make this medium size. What size is it? Length, blah. And we went through pre-purchase. I purchased, sent him the WhatsApp transaction that I made. And in post-purchase, he asked me, has it arrived? Take a photo when you're wearing it. I was like, well, I'm wearing it. This is how it looks. It's a perfect size. Thanks. You know, so businesses are transacting that way. Pre-purchase, purchase, post-purchase. Post and there's 5 million people who are actively using the WhatsApp business app to test business solutions. So why don't you join them? Why don't you become one of those businesses that are WhatsApp business smart? But before we go into that, I know you're, you're curious, what can you do with the WhatsApp business? Does it mean I have to pay? Does it mean, let me answer all your questions and feel free to continue dropping them in the Q&A if you have any. If you feel anything is unanswered, I'll be able to give you that opportunity and I'll be able to answer you. So first, WhatsApp business is free. First of all, you download it, you go to the App Store, you download it, Play Store uh, or Apple Store, or I don't know if Blackberry still exists, any of those stores, and you'll be able to download that app. When you download it, it allows you to migrate. You can migrate all your chats, your contacts, and any of those pictures from your regular WhatsApp to your new WhatsApp business. Well, what it's usually recommended for is, for example, uh, the business where you would populate all your business to. For example, if I am using our security company, our leather company and private detective company, uh, because those are our examples that shared today, is that for example, in our security company, if you're using WhatsApp business, this is the line, not for people to call and they have an emergency. Probably you can use it as something for customer care where you can tell people it's, it, it's okay to WhatsApp. Uh, you can be able to contact them, enter groups with it. So with WhatsApp business, you're able to keep a log of customers, WhatsApp groups, Sha -la 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 -la. In, same with our private detectives. If you have some customers on there, people can come and request your services, get to see what you're offering, and even communicate and ask. This is the solutions I'm looking for. For our, for our friend in Ethiopia who's doing some leather products, there's even a great solution on WhatsApp business where you can populate a catalog of all the products you have. People can even window shop 
on your on the WhatsApp. So it's a great platform, first of all, because it has more functionality to migrate where customers would come and dedicate that line to customer inquiries or ATC is what WhatsApp business is for. So that you can be able to have responses with customers' inquiries and you can build like a database of where you can be able to access these guys when you need to access them. And what can you do with it? First of all, look at that. That's what a business profile is look, looks like on WhatsApp business. It allows you to set up a business profile like that, like Sandra's Cakes here. It shows you're a business account. Um, some of the functionalities include showing a time that you're open and closed. So when it's written open, like at a certain time, if I put I'm open between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., as you can see here, it will always write open now. At another time when you're closed, maybe at 11 p.m., it will write closed, but will open at. So it even gives you great functionality to tell people when they're coming to try and engage or interact, gives them the ability to know when you're open, when you're closed or ETC. It allows you to put a link to your website if you have one, if you have a, if you have a website you like to direct them to. It's also sometimes recommended if you don't have that, point them to one of the social media profiles you have. Take them to your Facebook, your Instagram. So if they want to see a variety of products, then they're able to see that. Uh, you can write which category your business serves. For example, here we have food and grocery, it's Sandra's Cakes. If you're in security, you could probably have a category like security. If you're in uh, fashion products like um, leather, you can write fashion. And you can write the description of your business and even a physical location that ties to Google Maps, which is great. Imagine if you could, somebody comes to your profile, they don't need to ask you where you look at it. They just click and it shows them a pin on Google Maps and they can navigate and come to you directly. Other features that are not even shown here that were recently updated is catalogs. Catalogs is something for the people who've interacted maybe with the WhatsApp business account, you can be able to like put a menu item of the things you have, whether food, whether cakes, whether products, whether um, CCTV services, security services, you can be able to put a product and say this product is what its description and price and somebody can start a conversation based on that catalog so it's good because at one point your business can be able to list a few different things when somebody's getting your contact they can be able to assess ah in this catalog or you can even tell them please check out our catalog for any of the products you're looking for black forest white forest cake blah 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 you list a whole different kind of products and they're able to see and even see the pricing for example you can say starting from 2000 is a white forest cake, <clears throat> one kg, for example. So that's a profile. Imagine how much more populated that that has as compared to what you had in your regular WhatsApp, which only has your profile picture and your name in groups. I think that's when, and your status that says, I am now on WhatsApp or call now, or you know, sometimes the statuses that are there are very limited. But with using WhatsApp business, you have the availability of business profiles like this. Then you have messaging tools and we'll look at them. They exist in a few of them. One being greeting message. Oh, okay, so I'll scroll through just a few of these because we'll cover them in detail in another slide. So just keep viewing, I'll, I'll open your eyes. Uh, we have messaging tools like greeting message. We have... Uh, tool on WhatsApp business that's called label. We also see the great use of labels in businesses. You have quick replies. This is one of the most amazing things, but it's also a messaging tool that we'll cover. For a business, I know, just as the name suggests, it will help you with quick replies. Away messages, uh, which is also a messaging tool, it will allow you to even share a short link to your profile. For example, I can share a link that brings people direct to our WhatsApp chat. Why that's important is because you can share it in things like Facebook groups, you can share it in uh, Instagram and tell people, you know, click here and we'll start a chat direct on WhatsApp. So you're able to even use it to broadcast for people to engage. And all it means is for small businesses, what you gotta do is create a business profile using the WhatsApp business app and get started with it. And I'll show you all the features level by level. Don't worry, I, I skip through them because they're shown twice. The first time is just to open your eyes. The second time is to open your eyes and to tell you how you can use it. And our success story here actually for WhatsApp is one of the people, one of my, I would say friends that I've encountered in these trainings 
at one point, I think we've done this training for about since 2020 or 2019, end of 2019, thereabouts. And Stanley uh, runs Stanley Fashions, which is a thrift store based in Kenya. What we call thrift store is, you know, in the local is that Nguyam Dumba usually goes and find those clothes in bills. You buy a bill of many clothes, you come and try and find the best ones and sell them online. So he used Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp is primary platforms where Stanley attributes 80% of revenue to Facebook and 50 inquiries daily on WhatsApp and Messenger. And Stanley's still my friend today. I usually see his statuses. He has he just posts the, pro, the deals of the day. He puts like a hundred dresses, yeah, okay, not a hundred, like like 10 dresses, some like different types of outfits that he has on WhatsApp status. And his statuses are seen by I think the last time we spoke, there's like 2,000 or so people see his statuses on a day-to-day -day basis. Just this bit on his Facebook page, he has about uh, 15,000 followers. And on Instagram, the same about, I think for Instagram, he had a bit more, maybe 20,000. But the, in, the followers are not what's in, important. It's the amount of reach that he was able to do, the amount of people having eyes on the business and him being able to respond to these inquiries as soon as possible. Somebody says like the dresses are one. It's not like he has a variety of this type of dress 10 times. So once somebody sees this product, they say, I want this one, he says sold. He removes it. The next one removes it like that, like that until all the products are sold. And that for me was so amazing because I was so surprised uh, by how he's able to build a business directly from the comfort of his home. Um, and it's so inspiring for what you can do with a platform like that. So let's walk you through how do you go about this WhatsApp business and what's the likelihood that you'll be able to do it? Well, it's very simple. First, as I mentioned, it's a different app. So download the app and follow the prompts to register your phone number. So here you'll see WhatsApp business. You go to the app store, you'll see it as WhatsApp business. Download it and now start following the prompts. Add your business name. Build out your profile relevantly, you know, write the right information. For example, here we have Jasper's Boutique. He's put his logo. Uh, he's put a description of his business, what category is in, his website. So you add more details to your profile, including like uh, this e business hours, email, website, address, and all that. Uh, so it's that simple with WhatsApp business. You get started like that. In the journey of, it will ask you because you you're, maybe you're trying to migrate an existing number to WhatsApp business. You can be able to move all the charts, move all the stuff from there. But if you're setting up a fresh with a new number, an interesting to, thing to note is because WhatsApp is made for the WhatsApp business made for any type of business, small or big. It's allowed that you can even have your regular WhatsApp as Alex. I Alex Moi I have my WhatsApp. Very personal. I don't share my work with there. It's my friends or family. Then we run our business via another WhatsApp business. You are able to have WhatsApp normal and WhatsApp business on as two separate apps. <clears throat> as long as it's not the same number, you're able to run number one here, 0710000. And this other one, WhatsApp business, 0720000, like that. So that way, your business looks like you can manage it all from one device uh, simply and affordably. And now you can start using messaging tools to connect with your customers easily and efficiently. So I, I hope you can remember the question, the icebreaker we asked today. Don't think it was silly. Um, it was not trying to, to, to prompt you to be the fastest typer in the world. It was just to help you understand what are some of the functions that WhatsApp business can help you with. So under your business settings first, you'll find a great tool called business uh, messaging tools. So these messaging tools are supposed to help you as a business owner be able to deal with messages in a quick and fruitful way, uh, give the customer a good customer experience, and so on and so forth. Um, so the first uh, messaging tool that we have is called a greeting message. A greeting message is a great tool because it helps send an automated and customized greeting message to introduce your customers to your business. A greeting message, just like when people come to the banking hall, they are welcomed, even if it's by the guard or a receptionist or ETC, they tell you welcome. What do you want to do here in the bank today? Same with you as your business. If you have a physical location, people come in the store, you don't just look at them and wait for them to do whatever they need to do. You just tell them welcome. How can I assist you today? 
So with WhatsApp, a greeting message is ideally that. It's an automated, customized greeting message to introduce your customers to your business. Welcome to Cloud Business. We look forward to working with you. Welcome to the um, Wild International. How can we help you develop a strategy for your business? And this automated message means for if somebody has never written to you, first, it comes to people who have, first of all, if I start a conversation for the first time ever with you, it will send me this message automatically. I say, hi, is this Wild International? It auto responds to me with a greeting message. Um, same with the, if you've not chatted with somebody 14 days of no activity and then they chat you back, it will still send them the greeting message when they start the messages again. So it's a great platform and our participants who maybe are raising their hand to ask a question, please use the Q&A tab uh, because we have a Q&A session um, scheduled within the training. So use the Q&A tab, type, 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 type that question, write it down, um, then type it down, then we'll be able to answer you in the Q&A chat. Um, so cool, that's your greeting message. It's a very functional tool if you want to welcome people well to your business. Now, our icebreaker was based on this. Quick replies is a messaging tool that lets you save and reuse messages you frequently send so you can answer common questions quickly. Remember when we said, these are common questions. People will always ask you, where are you located? Or how can I contact you? How, what is your payment information? Even saying thank you, as an example here, um, thanks. Thank you for your business. We look forward to working with you again. Quick replies can be set. They can be template messages so that for our participant who was in the security business, let me just pull that up again so that we can read it through. I can imagine if Paul of Senaka had to write every time when somebody says, if imagine if he had just five inquiries a day or 10 and somebody asks uh, Senaka, we are very interested in your services. We would like to come to your office and discuss where are you located? And Paul had to write this long message every time i would be so tired we are located at current office park block b wing e third floor langata road wonderful that is extremely long i would not write it more than two times I, and this means you see at one time if you're serving a customer and you have to write this five times or five customers ask in quick succession how quickly will you be able to respond how effectively how will you write without typos? And that's what I meant by our icebreaker of the day, which was meant to be um, write your full name, name of your business, where is it located? Uh, what does it deal with? And you're supposed to write a fast and accurate response. That means punctuated well, no typos um, in proper punctuation, because if you're getting the chance and, and uh, our president was to visit and he's the one chatting you, he's asking you, Hey, I've gotten your contact. I'd like to come. We discuss something. You would not write to him. Me, I'm called Aleki. My business is Acha. And then we are located in CMS Africa House. Where the hell is CMS Africa House? Nobody knows. So we need to be able to write that information detailed. And that's what the purpose of quick replies is. You can write all your nice messages in a nice template, even saying thank you to your customers. Imagine if you served 10 customers a day. I'm imagining our friend who's dealing in leather equipment and people bought 10 products a day, but just because you're running between serving them, processing payments, and also still WhatsApping them that they've got the order, you just tell them, thanks. You know, it's so, it's a, so robotic. It's so robotic that you can write to somebody who's bought 5,000 worth of products, 10,000, thanks. You know, next time, why don't you just write a quick reply and say, thank you for your business. We look forward to working with you again please give us feedback of how the product was for you, full stop. And for you, all you have to do is click that quick reply. It writes this very quickly, automatically. Not, you don't have to write it every time. So think of quick replies. If people always ask those type of questions, um, where are you located? Uh, how do I pay? Um, blah, 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 blah. So there could be so many questions in many businesses. Security, how, what type of dogs do you have? And how do I hire a dog and a security guard? Who takes care of the dogs? Hey, you'll find that typing this response will take one hour and then you'll be frustrated that you've responded to so many questions, but you've not converted. But you see, in business, you have to speak to people so that you can be able to sell to them or transact. So quick replies will help you with this. And I hope they are clear. 
I really love quick replies because they emphasize the easiness of doing business by automation. And then our we messages, send an automated message when you are unavailable to let customers know when to expect a response. As well, remember a customer who's waiting only 24 hours for your feedback. Um, they are also expecting that if they message you at midnight, just because you've not told them you are unavailable, they expect they'll get a response. And sometimes you are not able to offer that response. And sometimes business owners will carry business home and ETC. But this time you have to dedicate and say, me from 9 p.m., it's time for me and my family to eat and relax and blah, 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 blah. So you can use that tool like an away message to say, um, you have reached us outside regular business hours. We will respond to you the next business day. Thank you. And you'll see, you can even set it on a schedule of a date and time. For example, I can say every 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. the next day, it just sends an away message. It will tell people we are unavailable and we'll contact them soon so that the customer does not wait in anticipation. Then another great tool in WhatsApp business is labels. Labels organize your contacts and chats and let you find them easily. Labels is also spectacular, great, uh, very well because it can help you categorize chats in a very simple way, depending on how you want to categorize them. As you can see, it usually comes with this set, set labels, just as an example, but you can change them, delete them, edit them. And the labels here are new customer, new order, pending payment, paid, order complete. And for many businesses, it could vary. Just for your business, think about it. If you have customers, for example, a business that has customers in Ethiopia, Nairobi, uh, Mombasa, and Kisumu, for example, would love to segment those customers by their location because if they are going to be for example, even sending products there, you can be able to tell all your customers in Kisumu, hi, we are making a, an order. We are making a, we are going to be sending a delivery of these amazing products to Kisumu. Uh, we'd like to notify you there's new stock available. You can check out and see. We can add it into the consignment and make sure it gets to you. That way you've targeted those people in Kisumu and 20 customers have at least known you've communicated to them and you knew where easily to find them. So labels can be great to find customers easily. And uh, yeah, I think the only one that I would always recommend to stick is with a pending payment one. So that you always know this customer, these are the customers who have not yet paid. I need to follow up because as a business owner as well, you still need to keep track of your finances and know who's in the right books, who's not in the right books. Never forget it. And you can change these statuses. Once you put a label, it's not permanent on somebody. So you once they are pending payment and then they make the payment, you can remove them from the pending payment tab. And you can use multiple labels on a person. For example, if a customer is they you've put the blue label as Kisumu, yellow as Nairobi customer, and then you still want to use the pending payment one on one of the customers in, in certain county, you can still use it. Um, so this will help you organize your chats and find them easily. And then you can review important statistics and effectiveness of your messages in your statistics tab. So we can look at WhatsApp best practices, just some tips on how you can use and manage conversations with your customers. Number one, always be responsive to your customers, meaning that you give them some good response time. Don't wait 24 hours, don't wait 48 hours, one week. Uh, be responsive to them. Uh, monitor trends. If trends are great to monitor things like if people ask this type of question every so often, if people are always asking for images of this and this, you can monitor so that you can be able to prepare for them using like messaging tools, using quick replies, and so on and so forth. Set expectations. Use tools like the away message, the greeting message to be able to preempt people to know, ah, you have been welcomed into our page oh, we are away right now, so that people know, ah, I'll not get a response now all the way till 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then know how to answer sensitive questions when customers ask them, and write the way you speak. Number five, I think, is another most important point when you're learning to use a messaging platform like WhatsApp we are looking at today. Why is because most, as a business, you should be able to mirror the same type of customer service everywhere. If somebody visits uh, yeah, the Senaka office uh, for a security company or your office, you're doing a private detective uh, business or your leather products, when people visit you, they come and you welcome them with an aura and you converse with them. Nobody ever sits with somebody and then they're like, let's talk about business. And then you just say, okay. And then you wait for the customer to ask. And then they ask, how much might this product be? 15K. 
And then what about how soon can I get it immediately? Writing the way you speak sometimes does not mirror the same way on online because people are prompt to just write an answer. Instead, why can't you serve the customer in the same similar service you would serve them physically? Write to them in a nice way instead of just thanks, thank you for your business. Instead of just 15, how much is this product? 15,000. You can say thank you for your inquiry. Uh, this this product is, goes for fifteen thousand Kenya shillings, uh, and we have a wide array of uh, this product. So this one and another type and another type. You can view it here and here and here. Please tell me how we can help you, uh, or what size or etc. At least make the conversation humanly and not robotic, because robotic answers make make your customer service go down, make your conversions go down. Instead, always use writing the way you speak to converse with your customers. And finally, let's help your help people discover your business using ads. So let's take a closer look at how, after thinking about all these factors, getting the WhatsApp business app, uh, looking at messaging the right way and all that, how can then you push 100, 10 inquiries, five inquiries, 10,000 inquiries, onto your WhatsApp business, and that's available using um, ads. So ads that click to WhatsApp are available on uh, Facebook and Instagram. As you can see, it's an ad. When somebody is scrolling through Facebook, as you can see, Jasper's market says, just arrived, fresh vet vegetables. Message us before 4 p.m. to get your groceries de delivered. Message below. Then it tells you, click the send message so that people can send a message. Um, this is easily set up in your ads manager. And if not, if you're not conversant with using ads manager, you can be able to go to your, if you go to choose boost post, when you choose boost post, choose the object, change the objective from automatic and choose messages. When you choose messages, it should ask you whether you want to send this to messenger or to WhatsApp. Now you can set it up via WhatsApp by choosing WhatsApp business, as you can see here. It will show you messenger. You can click WhatsApp business here and you can choose to connect your business WhatsApp business account. That just means if you have the WhatsApp business app downloaded, just take that number that you have on that WhatsApp business line and then fill it in here. And it will send you a five digit code onto your WhatsApp business account. And using that five digit code, it will say, thanks for connecting. And it will agree for you to now be able to connect your Facebook ads, Instagram ads directly to WhatsApp. And you can see ads that click to WhatsApp are available there on Facebook feed. And when you click them, that's the interesting thing. It's able to tell you this person clicked from Facebook and they're interested in which ad, because at one point you can be running three different ads. Maybe you're advertising a water bottle, a sufuria, and then something else. So that ad, those ads, if they click, somebody is able to tell, ah, this is the ad that, I'm, that I clicked through too. And in the end, um, you also get a preview of the same ad. So what are recommended best practices for the ads that click to WhatsApp? Uh, our first recommendation is welcome people when they land in WhatsApp with a greeting message or an away message outside business hours. Ads that click to WhatsApp can be placed in Facebook, newsfeed, or in Instagram. So you can see here on Instagram, you can be able to also place it there. Um, then use visuals and descriptive text to prepare people for a conversation. So one other thing is that you have to tell people that they can chat or engage, especially for example, here Jasper's Boutique says, need the perfect gift, use our gift guide bot to find the best gifts to give and get. Find the perfect gift. And when you send that message, it at least tells you you're going to be chatting, you're going to be conversing, and there will be somebody to assist you to get that perfect gift. Then remember, our preset responses make communication with customers easier, so, so much easier. Instead of being asked price list, you see you can even do attachments or images as quick replies. For example, people always ask you, send us the menu to your restaurant. Your quick reply is the menu, menu list. Um, and here you can see from Sandra's cake, somebody said, hello, can I order a round vanilla cake for, new, for, next, Saturday, for next Saturday? So one of the things here you will see, Sandra has put a label on this customer and said, this is probably like a new customer or a new inquiry. And it says, hi, welcome to Sandra's Cakes. 
Unfortunately, we are closed right now, but we open at 8 p.m. to 8, 8 a.m. tomorrow. We'll reply to you first thing in the morning. And the customer even gives you thumbs up. Imagine Sandra is not even here. She's deep asleep because the customer sent the message at 11.49. Um, Sandra's, uh, Sandra's Cakes business was able to, re to send the greeting message immediately or an away message immediately. And the next day when this customer is asking, can they get a vanilla cake? Sandra is armed with, first of all, thank you for contacting us in her quick replies. She even has a price list. She even has new products image catalog here. As you can see, preset communications that will help them uh, get there fast. So the best practices for ads that click to WhatsApp is be responsive, make sure to set up an away message or an instant reply, to set realistic expectations, then test and optimize. Make sure to set up an away message or an instant reply to set realistic expectations. And finally, crafting your WhatsApp strategy. I hope we are together there with our participants. All of you are getting the gist and the beauty of how WhatsApp can apply to your business and how you can use it, as all these great functionalities are only as great as how you use them. And finally, we lock it down with crafting your WhatsApp strategy. That first, the most, the first and most important thing is again, uh, as we mentioned in so many other trainings, your target audience. If you don't have this right, you'll always miss the mark because understanding your target audience allows you to plan because you're able to reach people through one-to-one -one communication. Their needs and likes are going to be different from other channels. So preempt and understand what might they come to ask. If I'm a tailor, they will come to ask me about the fabrics. They'll come to ask me about the process. How long does it take? Where are you located? How will I get my measurements? Hala, 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 hala. So understanding your target audience is important because it helps you even preempt some of the things you are talking about. Away from understanding your target audience or still understanding your target audience, ask yourself what questions or needs might they ask of your business on WhatsApp? What are people asking your business in existing channels like pages, comments, or messages? And how do you expect them to respond to your campaign? So in understanding your target audience, you need to ask yourself, what might they need or might they ask of your business on WhatsApp? What are people asking your business in existing channels? If they're already asking, how do I get this tailor-made? Um, how do I get your security services? I would like detective services. I'd like this leather product, this, that, that. It allows you to facilitate that you'll be able to know these are quick replies I should set, etc. And then how do you expect them to respond to your WhatsApp campaign? It's also important to ask yourself. So WhatsApp is that simple. It's a simple, beautiful app that can help you reduce the stress of talking to your customer, reduce the, improve the customer service of talking to your customer. Um, use it as a channel also to keep a database. Imagine if our business started 2019 and every day you could get two inquiries, five, another day, maybe Christmas, you get a hundred. All those contacts in the end at 2021, they should be somewhere in a database. WhatsApp chats, the corporate. So even if a customer comes and starts chatting us, hi, Ninge, I wanted this and this product from you. You can even see their history. Ah, John, you've even saved their contact. John, thank you so much for contacting us again. Long time since you last bought jacket A, B, C, D. What type of jacket do you want this month? You see, it gives even that personalization. So it's a platform where you can localize, where you can make people feel like you even know each other. You know, sometimes in business, it's that relatability that people, oh, when you remember my order? Oh, ah, you, you remember, but it's all a platform. You have it on WhatsApp, you have a thousand customers you're responding to. They're all in labels. You've even given them um, like, oh, are we still, when are you still shipping it in Nairobi? ETC, ETC. So WhatsApp will really, really help you optimize that kind of communication where customers want to inquire, get customer service, get feedback, and it keeps a track record. So you have your chats as history, so you can still be able to see what did you chat about last, what product, um, and it gives you that kind of viability. So many, so many uh, options to use WhatsApp business for. It's all up to you and your business. How do you want to do it? And I'm not, uh, and in our key takeaways, engage your customers with WhatsApp, as you've seen so many options to do so. 
uh, set expectations with your customers, make it easy for customers to reach you and amplify your efforts with ads and measure your engagement and performance um, so that you can see whether WhatsApp is really working for you really well, how do you grow it? Then remember that uh, if you've still been in this training and you'd love to learn some more about the Facebook family of apps, that's uh, Facebook, that's WhatsApp, that's Instagram, and you want to see how you can use them for your business, there's a free e-learning with Facebook Blueprint platform that's available for you to be able to speak and see what can I do for my business here. And here's our amazing Q&A session. And I'd like to ask our participants as we tackle this Q&As, if you have any, even uh, regarding Facebook or Instagram that we covered the previous weeks, please bring them here today because this is our last session. I'd like it to make it to be impactful for you to not be left with any questions. If you email the ABSA team, they will not know anything about how to use Facebook themselves. <laughs> uh, maybe they might have learned just the way you've learned from this training, but the best platform to raise them up is here on our Q&A, or as well, there's a Facebook live Q&A session that uh, Wild International usually holds every Friday. And now yeah, and this Friday, I'm, I'm the Q&A master. So if you, if you go and try all these WhatsApps, the Facebook, the ETC, and you still have a question and you've used it, and you want to ask on that Facebook Live, I'll be able to still answer you. And as we do that, please uh, write, please give us your feedback via the feedback form. It's very important because we've been improving this training for you. And I know we want to do together with the ABSA team many, many more important things for you. As well, the ABSA team might, might learn from this feedback and see what they can tailor make for you. So it's all very important for us to learn how can we learn from our participants? What did you have as questions? What did you feel was not addressed? How is the session length? And all those types of feedback that you want to give us. So use the feedback form and give us your feedback kindly if you can. Um, and now I'll be tackling some of the questions you have. Um, seeing there were a few people who had raised their hands and they wanted clarifications. Maybe you can use the chat for now. Um, and I'm seeing there's one question. Uh, do you go about that? Somebody asked, How do you go about email marketing? Uh, that's an interesting question, but not covered in this module. Um, because we cover Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, but just as a note, I guess we'd say email marketing um, is you know, if you have a database, the same way we are talking about WhatsApp here, you can use email marketing to reach your customers and communicate with them. But because it's not covered in this module, I won't really go into it in detail. But the sim it's, a, it's a similar version of just keeping up communication, maybe with a newsletter or sending them an offer via email, the way maybe you might see apps are sent you an email or something like that, it tells about new products and things like those. So I don't know if I'll be able to help you in that question today, unfortunately. But I hope that kind of gives you the direction of what we are talking about. Um, the Friday's Q and A session will start at nine a.m. If you do, if you're interested in dropping any more questions, or today you've learned and you've been like, "Wow, that was super," but I don't have any questions because I've not tried this platform as much. We are happy to still take them on Friday, uh, and we'll give it a few more moments for any of your questions before we hand it over to the Absa team to close the session. Oh, great! Huh. Please clarify if it's possible to use the same line for normal WhatsApp plus the normal plus the normal WhatsApp or plus the business app. So thanks for that question. You can use you have to use two separate lines. So in example, you're already on WhatsApp regular. Um, say I Alex, and now I want to move it to WhatsApp business. You're able to migrate your phone your line um, to WhatsApp business account. It's just a different app. There's no to another person who's writing to you, there's no difference to them. All they get to see is you have a WhatsApp business profile. Yeah, it does not impact, it does not charge you, it does not do anything. You can still chat with everybody in the world, anybody with WhatsApp, anything, anybody with WhatsApp business. It allows you to still do that communication, but you can only use a single platform per line. So if I have 0720000, and that's my regular WhatsApp line, Maybe I don't want to conduct business with it. I can't then move it to the WhatsApp business app and then still have them as two different ones. But on the same phone, I can have my regular WhatsApp and my WhatsApp business as long as there are two different numbers. So number one is my personal, number two is my business. And you'll have them in the same phone 
they're just two different apps and they're super amazing. They can run concurrently. And I hope that clarifies your question and answers it to our attendee. And from Esther, oh, uh, Lillian is saying thank you. Uh, Esther is also saying thank you. You guys are very welcome. The session was amazing. This is an insightful session. I'm seeing, uh, I've also been written to from the feedback form. I'm also watching the feedback form live, guys. So I'm, I'm waiting for your feedback to see how did you like the session? How can we improve? And from one of the attendees, they've said, Alex is very engaging. Thank you. I'd love to engage you some more. And uh, I think if there's, we'll take two more questions. I know we promised two of our attendees the opportunity to speak about their business. And I'd love to honor that promise today because we have a few minutes. Um, and that will be Paul. Paul has even asked a question. He's asking, can more than one person have access to one account? So Paul, that's a very good question. Again, uh, many businesses, sometimes you have a customer care representative that wants to be handling the customer inquiries, but somebody else on another device wants to be looking at how WhatsApp business is going. Um, so it, it might be limited for, for, the, for that. Two ways you can hack this in a simple way is you can have it on WhatsApp, um, WhatsApp web, that one that's on a browser that the customer care team can answer or ETC. And then on the phone, the business owner or ETC can be able to manage it from one end. So as long as they both have internet connection, the, the lines automatically sync and somebody on the desktop and on the mobile can be able to see. But if you're looking to scale it even further, WhatsApp business has WhatsApp enterprise. So if you're a big business, you're scaling up this solution and you want 10 people to be handling inquiries because for example, Absa, if they're using WhatsApp business and there's customers asking on day on day on day, they like customer care teams to be able, there's WhatsApp enterprise that you can be able to plug into your business and it allows you to even have different modules. You can have one person answer queries like this, ETC, ETC. So Paul, that's pre pretty much the answer to that. Uh, if, you're a still, if you're an SME still, you can do that small hack of WhatsApp web and uh, WhatsApp on the phone. Um, so unfortunately you can have it on two devices uh, permanently. Uh, that's Paul's question. Paul, prepare your pitch. We'd love to hear about Senaka. I think I've seen Senaka here and there. It's been there around over the years. And we'd love to hear about Senaka. How have you been in business over the years? Have you used WhatsApp? Have you used this Facebook? Have you used these platforms? So we'll be here. We're waiting to hear from you. I'll give you an opportunity shortly after I answer these questions. Bernard, you indicated that if one is stuck here, she clarification from you on Facebook Live. What if I'm not? on FB Live? Oh, Bernard, that's a great question. If you're not on Facebook and you would like the Q&A to watch, oh man, that's difficult. Maybe what I'd suggest, I'll give this suggestion to the Wild team to also add a Q&A section on their, on their website for Facebook related questions, Instagram, and somebody will be able to answer them. But for now, I know because Wild is, has, um, has that ongoing, you can write to them on their website the question you have and they'll be able to facilitate. They'll probably plug it into me as a trainer and I'll be able to assist Tim Bernard. And I hope that's the solution you take. So just use the Wild International website, type, 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 type the question. I'm interested in knowing Nini and they'll be able to refer that question to me and I'll answer to it to you directly uh, if you have any clarifications that you need. <clears throat> um, good, those were the Q and A's I've seen. And uh, one more, let me see, let me see, let me see. Insightful session, Bernard. Okay, we've Bernard written that question, we've answered it. Uh, Emilio, you should is asking, thanks so much, but I logged in at 10.57, but seems like you had already started. Yes, Emilio, probably it started for about 20 or so minutes, but good enough that we are hosted today by the ABSA team who are amazing. They've recorded the session and they put it on their YouTube live. If you've also missed any of the other sessions, they were, we were not replicating the sessions, we were doing Facebook, Instagram, and then WhatsApp. So we've done three different platforms so you can go and watch them on the YouTube channel. You can watch this one from whatever you missed on the YouTube channel. And we'd be happy to um, make sure that you get those copies. So Absa team, please post the link to your YouTube uh, channel. Uh, Shedi Kakai from Shamagat Private Detectives. You're very welcome, Shami. Thanks so much for joining the session. Um, oh, Grace, I'm seeing from Boost. Boost team has also indicated to me that there will be some coaching. So for businesses like you who've joined are interested in learning more about how this boost can turn into 
um, can scale your business and you start using these solutions, you can be able to contact the Wild International team and they'll be having some coaching sessions uh, on digital marketing and also on strategy for SMEs just like you. I think that will be free, um, available for businesses. So please, please stay online, get these amazing offers, write to Wild. Uh, we're looking forward to all the engagement that you can and they're looking out for businesses like you who are taking these trainings and doing amazing things with them. Dominic saying kudos, thanks. Uh, Paul, we've made you a panelist, so I'll give you the opportunity to speak one minute. Just tell us about uh, Senaka, tell us about your business. And I'm seeing a lot of thanks. Thank you all to our participants, Asanteni Sana. And if Paul, you can hear us, I'll stop sharing my screen because I'm seeing like the questions are over. We'd love to hear about Senaka. Give us that one minute pitch. And as Paul, you do that, let me get our second participant. Uh, let me get a second participant to give us the yeah. feedback. Ashinafi, I hope you're still there all the way from Addis Ababa. We'll also make you a panelist so you can give us how is it in Addis? One minute pitch, tell us about your leather products. Uh, how can we buy them? Can we access them in Nairobi? ETC, ETC. So over to, over to you, Paul. You can hear us. You can unmute. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Can you hear me? you quite fine paul all right so um yes uh let me turn on my video Crazy. all right hope you can hear you, you can. all right so my name is paul paul bushoki i work at sanaka east africa we are a security company that provides security solutions a wide range of security solutions um our key services range from tech solutions to k9 and specialized guarding and then we also venturing into risk management, which is an area that we see expanding, especially with uh, the onset of COVID. So Sanaka is uh, keen on providing quality services when it comes to security solutions. And that's where our focus has been for the past 20 years. And um, we are very passionate about our customers and clients, and we're always looking for ways to be innovative. Um, over the past two years, Sanaka has won around 10 awards when it comes to security services. And we're looking for ways to expand in terms of uh, security solutions and reaching out to even more people, especially when it comes to people who may not be able to afford security solutions and seeing how we can provide for them as well. So I think that's a quick summary of Sanaka East Africa. Um, if you want to reach us, you can reach us on our website at uh, sanakawal.com. And also I, sh I had shared my email. So I'm also, I'm very impressed with the WhatsApp business. I've had a WhatsApp business, but I've never really been very keen on it. So I'm also looking for ways to how we can integrate um, customer service, especially for security solutions with WhatsApp business. So thank you, Alex. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, thank you. I'd love to hear from award-winning security companies. If you're looking to be guarded, those are the guys and Paul has been in the session and gave us a very interactive chat on there and told us how we can reach him, his website and all that. Thank you so much, Paul, for representing the organization. And I'm seeing like uh, Ashinafi might have dropped off. I don't know if there was an internet hitch. So we might take Shedi. Shedi, you can tell us about uh, private detective security and all that uh, before we drop off and give it back to the to the team from ABSA to give you a vote of thanks. Uh, so Shedi, yeah. Karibu Sana, we allow you to talk. You can uh, unmute when you're ready. Tell us about your business, tell about your, your detective solutions and how we can be able to reach you. Shedi, go ahead. If you can also start video, we'd love to see. Um, we'd also love to see you. Shedi, are you there? Can you hear us? I don't know if Shed is going through technical challenges, but you are allowed to talk and you are unmute. So try and unmute again. Shed, what we'll do is we'll promote you to panelist instead, Shedi, and you can try and mute and see if you'll be able to, to do so. Um, and in the meantime, I guess. Um, we can be, Marianne probably can be preparing to give them the vote of thanks as we wait to hear from our last participant. You can come online and turn on a video so we know you're here. You can, is, it, is it Helen or Marianne? I'm not sure who's giving the vote of thanks. 
I'm seeing Helen is there. Fantastic. Okay, Shady, there you go. I've seen Shady has come online. Shady, you can unmute when you're ready and give us, tell us about your business. Sorry, Shadi, we can't hear you. You might be having an issue with your microphone. <clears throat> Probably unplug your earphones and try without the earphone. Oh, Shadi, it's Today, the microphone has given you technical difficulties and it has refused you to speak. <laughs> Not yet. Unfortunately, Shady, maybe we, because we're running out of time. You can write again in the chat and you can tell the participants today where you're joining us from and how they can reach you. I love that you wrote about your business and the security services you offer, private detectives and ETC. So write on the chat. And I'd love to pass it then over to Helen. Helen? We can give a vote of thanks to our participants. And um, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. We really hope the lessons were insightful for you. Remember, at any time, while well, International uh, APSA joined into this partnership to try and help you as an SME to scale your business. So please uh, hope, take these learnings and learn. And uh, we hope to see you scale your businesses. Thank you so much for your time. Bye. Well, Helen, over to you. Sorry, I forgot to say. Over to you, Helen. Thank you, Alex. Wow, it was a great session. Uh, mine is to say to all our clients and participants for today's session, a big thank you to all of you. Thank you, Paul Bushoki, for, the, uh, for pitching your business to us. And unfortunately, Shady, uh, there's always a next time. Yeah, sometimes uh, technology can be can go south there. So on, on our screens, there's a poll. Please uh, feel free to fill it and answer this question so that we can make sure that we bring you relevant information at the right time. Uh, help us to understand what we would like to listen to next time. If this session was relevant, we'd like to, we'll, we'll really appreciate to know that. Uh, I would like to thank, to thank um, Alex Mwai, Cynthia Ureri, and John Jabara for sharing your insights too. It was indeed uh, a great session from, for, from all of you. Allow me also to recognize our head of SME at APSA Bank, uh, Susan Situma, for making, for making this forum possible. I would also like to appreciate our behind the scenes team from APSA Marketing and Protel Studio Limited, as well as the team from Wild International, who have ensured we run the entire series successfully without much hitches. As I had mentioned earlier, today has been our that and final session in the digital marketing webinar series. And you can catch all the highlights and the videos of this uh, series on, the, on our APSA YouTube page. You can also write to us at APSA Bank through our business club email, which is businessclub.ke at apsa.africa. Any query that you may, might have uh, regarding these um, sessions, please do write to us. What next? Look out for our next uh, sessions, uh, webinars, which we are preparing to bring back to you in the coming weeks, just to continue with these conversations of giving you more insights on how to take your business to the next level. So look out for, uh, for our email invitations and once you receive that, please register immediately because we can only send reminders to the people who have registered for the session. So look out for our invitations. Please take a few minutes also to partic participate in our exit survey, survey as you leave this session. From us, we pray that you remain safe. Observe all the guidelines provided to protect yourselves and your loved ones during this time. 
Till next time, God bless and thank you all. Have a good day ahead. Bye. My name is Josephine Joroge, a mother of two. I've been in business of zero supply since 2008. Challenges in this business, thank you for your time. The money is very low and the demand is very high. Customer has received a check, post-dated check. The others have been paid, the others have been paid, the others have been paid. This is a big challenge in our business. I got employed two weeks. To get 2,900, I was paid for it. I started with the two bags. Then I come free up to Mukoko 10 in Abeba 10. Kampuni, you can dipeleka Absa. Absa wakasema hata tupatia those is open check to kugwe account. Yo tu endele, tu tu na endele sa account is to tuweza kupata pesa. Kugwe account after after six months, yo ni kapata yo bahati ni kapewa karoni unsecured. One of the staff from Absa. Can you approach her? Can you be a Josephine? According to the way we are seeing your account, your, your account is going well. To keep up with your camera, million it out. You know, as a manage, I'll in his kuma mpaka ni kakubali. I could take three weeks. Nani kapewa? Yani they boost me from less than hundred thousand eh, to three million. Nani can manage? We are she account from nothing. We many say idea. Sasa, I am somebody. Our mama wakona favor. Women should make a good relationship with the bank so that if they continue, they will be getting more advice. Then after advice, they will be getting a lot of money. The lower up surprise for me is advice, giving me capital and give me the direction. The rest of the ladies wafungue account kwa absa. Iyo itawasaidia, kuna wakati watafail, kuna kila kitu. Absa inasaidia wa mama, kusema ukweli inasaidia.